Hello, my name is Mark W. and welcome to part six in my series that is a full playthrough of an epic Legend of the Red Dragon tournament played on the Realm of Syrian BBS from April 2020 to July of that same year. Because this video is part six, if this is the first you're hearing of this series, you might be better off starting at part one, which is linked to in the description. Let's recap the previous video, part five, in which my character Neon Peon was in the second lap of the Lord race, meaning I had beaten the dragon one time out of the three required to win the tournament. I advanced from level seven to level nine, hit some wonderful somewhere magic has happened jackpots, which in my opinion are critical to success at Lord, and engaged in many player versus player battles. Here are the standings as of the end of day 51, with me, Neon Peon, in first place, Demi B in second if you go by experience, but notice he's actually a level higher than me, Tentacle in third, Maverick is in fourth, and Oddly OK is in fifth place. Realm of Syrian BBS is a fun, gaming-oriented BBS here in the 21st century, believe it or not, run by cool dudes who have a passion for old-school BBS gaming. So, so be sure to check them out if you like BBS games such as Exitalus, Trade Wars 2002, which takes place in the distant future of 2002, by the way, and of course, Legend of the Red Dragon, among many others. Now, without further ado, let's pick up from Day 52 and see what happens. Day 52. I'm excited to see what happens. Low spirits. Nobody attacked me. Oh, well. Sorry, I want to see these daily happenings again. All right, Crystal is killed by Mountain Maverick. Has killed Ali okay and Uncle Bob and has beaten Atsuko Sensei, who is which level guy? Atsuko is level... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So he's up to level eight now. Good job, Maverick, at level eight. Blanche Apanopoulos has killed Wolf One and beaten Sand Tiger, who is the level five boss. And he's been killed by Balar. And some other stuff happened. Okay, what am I looking at? What am I trying to think of what moves to make? Probably just kill Demi, right? But I could do it after the forest fights. Earthshaker, he's a pain. So I use the thieving skill. You just don't want to mess with Earthshaker. Um, yeah, he just hits really hard and has a decent amount of hit points too. I think I used a pinch real hard on him that time. Just really don't want to you don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe trading blows. You need to just run or hit him really hard. And then another Earth Shaker. So I'll probably pinch real hard again. Yeah, and I didn't quite finish him off with the pinch real hard. He had 20 left. 20 hit points. I wish Turgon would put some clothes on or go on a diet. The Franken Moose. And Taki's pet. Pink Elephant. Ernest Brown. I think he hits you with his knee. Flowers, yeah, 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 same old crap. <laughs> Apparently I really wanted to read this stuff. <clears throat> Hemoglob. I imagine it's like a, a large red and bloody blob. A hemoglob. Tell the dwarf to screw off. Screw off, dwarf. He used a thieving, I believe, on uh, the Earthshaker that time. I can never meth mess with an Earthshaker. Three forest fights for the day from the Seth Abel Bard. 35k. Ernest Brown, the knee hitter. He's a knee slapper.
now it's time to go in for the kill. I, I believe it'll be against Demi B. 14 4 again needed. I have three thieving skills saved up, so it should be pretty easy. Oh, no, I have two. Still pretty easy, probably. Wine's weapon. Looks like I'm being really careful just using the light shield. I mean, I guess if I'm going to wrap up the entire day anyway, there's kind of no reason not to, because, again, it doesn't actually use a turn in the combat. So it's like a nice safety precaution. As long as you have the 12 mystical points left anyway, I guess it's a no-brainer, right? And this should end the day. And we are returning to the mundane world, but we're back day 53. High Spirit's tentacle has broken into the room. Oh, this is fun. Sorry, I want to see how much experience it was. Let's go. Go back again. <laughs> it's fun to just kind of revel in how much experience you've got. By people, misguided attackers, basically. So that's 349,650 experience. Nice. Maverick has killed Ali. Okay, Maverick has killed tentacle. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing too interesting here. Except syntax error leveled up. By killing old Lodrin, who is, um, what do we say? That's a level four guy. And some other stuff happened. So let me go back a little bit. I want to see um, this fun thing. Yes. <laughs> Jeez, I don't believe this last time I attacked you, Neon Pian. Yeah, I hope so. He also got laid. Oh, it's a she. She got laid by Seth Abel. I forgot that's a she. And uh oh, the Corinthian giant. Don't mess with him, Dionysus. Or Dionysus, however you say that. My mouse cursor is saying, haha, I'm going to kill him again. <laughs> that's my uh, two years ago mouse cursor, not my current one. The mighty training center. Jimmy B is in first, technically. Just keep looking back and forth. I'm plotting something here. What am I plotting? I figure I'm probably just going to kill Jimmy B, but I guess, oh, yeah, I guess I'm going for level 10. And then since I don't like to stay at level 10, that. Kind of means I'm planning to kill the level level 11 guy who's conveniently placed there. So I guess, yeah, I'm going through the fights because I'm confident I'll be okay. And then I'm probably going to attack the, the level 11 guy. But we're going for a fairy. Oh, we got a thornberry bush instead. Boo. Heal up from that really dangerous thornberry bush. It hurts you more than most enemies do. It actually brings your hit points down to one, I believe. So it really hurts you. Just does as much damage as possible without killing you. Sixty-five k gold lying around, always nice. There's forty-three k gold. Oh, sweet little girl, she's nasty. You got to be really careful with her. <laughs> Evil hobbitses. So yeah, I'm seeing another way I could have played is just attack the level 11 guy first um, before the forest fights to avoid this dangerous level 10. I'm not sure offhand if I would have had enough uh, experience after beating the level 11 guy to upgrade to level 11 right away. Right? So I'm not sure if that would have made sense to try. But, you know, it's all about... Do you want to risk the player fight before the forest fights and then lose out on all the experience and gold you gain from the forest fights? That's a common decision you have to make in this game. 
And I tend to, to err on the side of doing the forest fights first. But it can pay off to attack the player first. So whoever's in your sights, if you attack him, you, know, you beat him, and now you're able to level up, and then your subsequent forest fights for the day give you more rewards, consequently. Okay, what are we doing now? Oh, look at this. We're doing hot. No, nope, no, we're not doing hot. What are we doing? <laughs> I'm interested. Hot. Okay, we are doing hot. So that gives you... Uh, it says you feel energy. What did I do? I hit something. Sorry. Uh, hold on. Did I accidentally fast forward? What's going on here? I probably accidentally rewind. I think I hit my space bar. I don't know what that actually does in this player, though. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Hot. Yes, hot is pause. I mean, space bar is pause. Okay, so hot, what it actually does is, I'm going to pause for a moment and look up what it does precisely, but I know it gives you more hit points. Okay, so I looked, and what it does is it gives you 20% extra hit points, which is nice if you're uncertain about a fight. It can be great for going into the dragon battle, of course. But, um... I, th I think I'm... Well, I don't know what I'm thinking here, but I wonder if I'm thinking maybe I misplayed this by not waiting until my extra... Yeah, I think I did misplay that. I should have gone to Seth Abel first. Then got... You know, I would have gotten my extra fights, forest fights, and then I could have done the forest fights and then used the hot code. So I misplayed that. I guess I wasn't expecting to get forest fights or I just didn't think it through correctly or something. But I think it's not going to be an issue, really, to beat the level 11 guy who is... Uh, oh, 11 is not there. He must be in the field. And I'm pausing here. I think I realized I didn't check. Yeah, look, I, I returned. Look at that. Hold on. So I, it's funny. I made the same mistake now as then just assuming he was in the inn, but not everybody goes to the inn all the time. But you can see you get a refund, but only half. So I actually burnt some money by making this mistake. Not a whole lot. It says, so you aren't going to attack anyone. Here is half your money back. The other half will cover my time. The bartender laughs harshly. Ha! Huh. That was an error. But now I'm going to go attack Crystalis in the field. <laughs> Crystal Shard. So she's got the same weapon... I do, and she's probably got better armor, and she's one level higher, so this is dangerous. Also, I don't have 12 mystical skills. I have 11, so I just can't do the light shield. However, hopefully, the thieving skills will do enough damage anyway without, you know, before she kills me. But let's see what happens. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's funny how often in this game I'm like, oh, thinking through all these things, and it's just like, plop. You just totally annihilate them. But that's okay. It's good to think things through, and that is an extra 2.2 million experience points. Wow. That gives us enough to go to level 11, which takes 4 million, I believe. So do I want to do it now or no? It looks like no. I'm deferring probably because I'm just thinking about level 10 people being able to kill me more easily if I go to a level 11 right now. Mundane world once again. Day 54. So we had low spirits. Jimmy B attacked me but ran away. That's it. Syntex are killed by silent but deadly. Crystal is killed by Shadow Storm Warrior. This guy, I don't even know who he is. He's beaten Halder. Maybe he's a new player. Tentacle has killed Maverick. Tentacle has beaten Prince Caspian, which takes him to level 10, I believe. And he's been killed by the dangerous floating eye. Ah, yeah, level 10 is tough. Flan blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of stuff. He killed Mabel. Oops. I'm moving my windows accidentally. Look at that. <laughs> I've beaten Sparhawk, which takes him to level ugh, seven, I think. Picked in the groin. Mabel has beaten Sparhawk, killed Ronnie Ford, and has killed 
Fletch, up and up and up and up and up. All right. I like seeing my name towards the top. <laughs> I am uh, looking at this again. Time to fight Gandalf and go to level 11, I believe. Nope, we're staying at 10. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, again, I just don't want to be the target of someone's player kill. And, you know, again, I'm a little bit out of practice. I haven't played this game in a while and I'm a little out of touch. Even, even just doing these videos, I'm only... um. I last I did my last recording quite a while ago, so I'm a little bit a little bit out of touch right now. So yeah, I think I'm probably thinking mostly about preventing especially Dimmy B and Tentacle from being able to kill me easily. And therefore they would acquire a lot of experience. This is this this whole jockeying is uh I'll lend him my loincloth, I'm saying here. Okay. <laughs> well this is this is a uh, central part of the strategy. I always talk about, you know, my main strategy is um, hoarding my wealth and trying to, you know, maximize those money doublers. But this is big too. If you just level up every time you can, you set yourself up to be player killed. And uh, every time you're player killed, you're giving somebody else tons of experience potentially. I knocked on the door for the mystical skills game and nobody was home. Brand the Wanderer, not Brand the Wanderer. Brand Who's the level one guy? Is it Bran the Warrior or Bran the Wanderer? But anyway, the guy here is Bran with a D. Bran the Wanderer. <laughs> yeah, here I am hanging out on the dangerous level 10. Simply to avoid being player killed, I suppose. Dark Cloak Tavern. Slock. Three million in the bank. No Jenny code because I'm in low spirits. Three more forest fights from Seth Abel. Brand the Wanderer. I pinch him really hard. Pinch. He's a thieving skill on the evil girl. Another evil girl is Pincher. Such a strange image. You imagine this. First of all, I'm a wizard who's formerly a thief. You know, I'm, I guess I'm probably, I probably look like your stereotypical D&D &D wizard, I guess. Maybe. And I'm wandering through a forest and there's a sweet looking little girl and I'm like, ah, a sweet little girl. I better pinch her real hard. <laughs> and then I pinch this girl. And usually the sweet girl, it's very dangerous though. So she could like bite my head off like the the Monty Python rabbit perhaps just kind of kill me in one blow. So you got to be really careful with the sweet looking little girl. In any case, I am bribing the barkeeper to kill Dimmy again. Sorry, what was his level? Was it 10? Yeah, he's the same level as me, 10. So if I get higher than him, you know, I can't kill him and he can kill me. So that's that's got to be my idea. I just want to keep killing him every day, except when the level 11 guy is around Crystalis and protect myself from being killed every day. Because I have the same level as Dimmy, but I have stronger equipment. That's the bottom line, I think. So he can't really attack me and kill me easily as long as he stays at my level until he gets better equipment. That's what I think is happening. Mundane world time. Day 55. High spirits. What happens? Nobody tried to attack me overnight. A bunch of stuff happened in here. Jimmy B got laid. Good job. Um, Kentaris leveling up. I missed a little bit at the beginning, but I don't want to go back. All right, looks like I can kill Chris Dallas, so I'm probably going to do that. The Death Dealer is giving me a little bit of a difficulty. Not too much. Brand the Wanderer. Raisin Brand the Wanderer. Korak's son, Korak. Let's play a game. I know I said this before, but it'd be cool to make a mod that has different kinds of mystical games you could play that have some kind of strategy to them, perhaps like a little bit of a puzzle element. Oh, what do we got there? Let's let's rewind. 
We have a new mystical skill. I believe it's Shatter, but I want to read the text for fun. Mystical instruction. An old man with a long white beard suddenly appears next to you. You ready for your next lesson, boy? In this, in this case, he doesn't sound like a cowboy. He's not calling you partner. He says, okay, sometimes you lose your temper and you want to vent your anger in a constructive way. Am I right? Causing someone's bone to shatter is a great way to relieve stress. I think that's more destructive than constructive, but hey, shatter is a great spell. The old man vanishes as quickly as he, as he appeared. Four more lessons needed to learn a new mystical skill. Yeah, so shatter costs 16 points. It does a ton of damage. Well, let me look up exactly how much. I'm going to pause for a moment. Okay, I looked it up, and Shatter does 4.5 times the damage of a regular attack. So, yeah, no wonder it costs 16, right? Pinch Real Heart is great with its 1.5, and I think a regular Thieving skill does double, as well as the Death Knight skills. Gosh, 4.5 times for Shatter, wow. So that's one you can use on the Dragon sometimes. Um, but, you know, it depends on how many skills you have. You might want to use a Light Shield... Followed by a bunch of thieving attacks or whatever. But yeah, getting a getting a shatter is probably probably good. So we're level 10. We got about 6 million experience. Once again, we can play the mystical skill game. Lower than that. Don't think so hard, Mark. Come on. <laughs> oh, I can't I can't divide in half. 53, higher up, 54 or 55, which one? It's a 50-50 now. Yes! Sweet-looking little girl. Very dangerous, those little girls. All right, we can go for a blessing, perhaps. Which one are we doing? Blessing or try to catch? We're trying to catch it, and we got a fairy. Woohoo! That's cool. Now, again, I'm a little on the rusty side. I'm trying to remember if a fairy can be held overnight. I feel like not. Yeah, I think I don't think you can. So it would basically just help me in these remaining five fights or in a player battle. Um, And so, yeah, you know, I'm a little bit cautious about attacking um, Crystallis, the level 11 guy. So, you know, I, obviously I think it's the right thing to do, but I probably was feeling a lot better back then knowing that I could go into that battle battle with a fairy in my pocket. Let's use the babe. And I didn't use the hot. I didn't choose hot to get extra hit points because I probably figured I got this in the bag with the fairy. This upcoming battle that I'm thinking about. I didn't do it today already, did I? I'm sorry, I'm being forgetful. Anyway, we've got three extra forest fights from Seth Abel and the first two were total throwaways. The last one was okay. So yeah, we have a player fight left. So now we're going to attack Chris Dallas. I'm like 99% sure. It costs 16,000 at this level. Ah, look at that. This time I, I remembered. Oh, wait, he was in the fields last time. I should check there first. So here we go, attacking Crystal. Oh, near his teeth. Holy cow. That is... Uh... All right. <laughs> so let me... Just clarify why I said holy cow. Uh, nearest teeth is the which one? The forty million. Slide this window over here. This is um nearest teeth right here. So that's actually stronger than mine, and it does eight hundred as strength as opposed to my five hundred. So it's like practically double as good. And I don't know what armor they have. Well, so I was a little ner nervous probably, but all I could do at that point was either back away, not worth it, worth the risk anyway probably, and you know use a light shield. And then hope my thieving skill would do it. And you know, it did just one one thieving skill did the 1603. Let's rewind a bit. I want to see how many hit points they actually had. Did I like barely kill her? No, actually it kind of killed her quite a bit. <laughs> it uh killed her way beyond 100 percent about about like close to 150%, I guess. So it yeah, it did the job. Maybe they don't have the corresponding 40 million armor, it's probably just the 10 million or so. But yeah, light shield is really good. And we got how much experience? Another 2.3-ish. And six gems. 
plus just finding a gem for some reason. <laughs> it's weird. Find a gem and then you also find six gems. I don't think I noticed that before. The way I think it works is you can get the bonus gem just from annihilating somebody really hard. And then you also get the gems that a player was ca carrying. Maybe it's like two different things. Shep is the man written in P. And I didn't get to use a fairy. I mean, it's, it's fine. It was just an insurance fairy. Let's go to the room in the inn. Have a lovely nap. Day 56. High spirits today. Strapping my crystal shard to my back, etc., etc. Maverick has killed me. Ah, oh, that jerk, Maverick. He's always tricksy. <laughs> what happened today? Anything interesting? So, Crystal has killed Tentacle. Tentacle gave birth to a, a boy. His name is Butt Juggler 9000. Always a good name for a baby boy, the Butt Juggler 9000. And Tentacle has killed Maverick. And Dimmy B has killed Tentacle. And Oddly OK has killed Mabel. This is getting bloody and crazy. Wow. Okay, so looking at this, um, looking at the standings here. Um, I'm staying at level 10 intentionally for now. But given that Chris, Crystalis is alive at the horrible, drawn, horribly drawn circle, but at level 11, and I, you know, as you've seen, I can kill him. I have done it. If I get half of his experience points, that'll get me like about 2.8 million, which will set me over the top. To be above 10 million in experience which is enough to get to level 12 and i can avoid being at level 11 entirely which would mean you know if i was at 11 i'd be a prime target for my top two competitors Jamie b and tentacle so i think i'm gonna try to catapult to level 12 right here it's like a perfect perfect setup pretty much although crystalis you know defeating him isn't guaranteed he has near his teeth and you know i probably need something like uh some insurance like a fairy or um, the Jenny code to use, you know, hots to give me extra hit points. You know, I got to be sure or, or have extra protection, basically. Nothing is guaranteed. Death dealer. Forty one K lying around. Sorry, old man, you're not worth my time. Uh oh, sweet little girl. Huh, totally annihilated her with a thieving skill. Sometimes you just can't be sure. Those thieving, you know, little girls that you die. It gets any monster in these games. When you die too much, you re really learn really learn to to respect their abilities. You just, just can't be sure you're going to beat them. Sweet little girl is one of them. You know, kind of like Earthshaker. They just really get you. They do a ton of damage. Sometimes. <laughs> Here we go. Sweet little girl. How, how are we going to handle the little girl? Okay, just thieving skill her again. <laughs> That's usually the easiest way. If there's any uncertainty, you don't want to be trading blows with them. Oh, try, time to get a fairy. Do we get it? Yes, a fairy. So that gives me confidence that I can beat Crystalis at level 11 and try to catapult to level 12. Oh, that time I used, I was being conservative. Maybe I want to save my thieving skills for the battle with Crystalis or possibly even the dragon once I get to level 12. But, um, you know, I'm being a little stingy. I used a pinch real hard. I did 950. Now, of course, again, I don't, I don't want to be trading blows with her because she could possibly kill me in one hit, even though she didn't do nearly that much last round. So I guess I'm probably going to, well, she's got 282 now, which isn't a lot. So I'm probably just going to do a regular attack here to finish her off. Yeah, I do that. Oh, again, do I do pinch real hard again? Yeah. Oh, but this time I'm in the same situation, except she's got a lot more hit points than before. So it's time to uh, really consider, do I want to use a, another pinch? Because that's going to take me actually below 12. And it costs 12 to use a light shield, which I'm probably going to want to use in my battle against Crystallis or Crystallis. So this is a tough decision here, I would think. I'm probably going to opt to just use a thieving skill, honestly. Yeah, there we go, thieving skill. But 
if I had just stuck with a regular attack, I might have died. Well, I would have burnt through the fairy, which is not ideal. However, with a with a light shield and a fairy, if I just <laughs> if I if I can be crystalless without using either of those, I I could actually make an attempt for the dragon after that. Um, probably wouldn't wouldn't happen because they only have you know pretty weak weapons for attempting the dragon. But stranger things have happened. Here I'm using the hot code to get twenty percent extra hit points. And now we're going for crystals. I actually almost attacked him, but I wasn't sure. So let's see. Uh, He's got a lot more hit points than me, by the way. Look at that difference. But, um, yeah, I'm going to use a light shield here, apparently. Yep. And now I should be good, probably. Yeah, he's a thieving skill, and I almost killed her, but not quite. She could barely touch me, it seems. All right. Got a nice 2.8 million and a bunch of gems, which doesn't hurt. So now I can level up to 12. I can just fight one master after the other. Somebody entered the realm. That can be a um that can throw a you know a monkey wrench in your plans when another person logs on. I think that player is very low level though. So I just killed Gandalf. Now I'm gonna kill Turgon to get to level 12. But sometimes I actually panic when another person logs on because they can attack you live and really screw you up. Anyway, in this case, I am level 12, and now I am kind of out of range for those level 12 guys to easily kill me, which is nice. And I guess there's nothing to do, but yeah, get some elixirs. And attack the dragon. Very little chance, but hey, a fairy is helpful. <laughs> but it's like I have no thieving skills, just a couple of um a couple of pinch reel hards left. Yeah, two of them. Right here. It looks like it looks like I thought I might have had a thieving left because I hit T. So I pinch and pinch again, and he kills me, but my fairy resurrects me, and then what happens? So now <laughs> yeah, now I'm left with it still has twelve thousand hit points versus my 1680 and there's no way that basic regular attacks are going to finish him off and as we see it actually killed me in the subsequent hit day 57 low spirits today nothing else has happened i probably logged in like close to midnight oddly okay has killed mabel and that's it And I could pick on Crystalis some more, but there's no real point. Well, actually, there is a strong point. Um, it would keep other players from. <laughs> I might be. I might listen. I, I try not to get too crazy with like, well, planning when I'm going to log in, like my planning my life around when I'm going to log in and play Lord. But I think this time I opted to just jump on at midnight because I wanted to kill Crystalis before anybody else could. I think that's what I'm planning here. So that's actually a huge benefit to whoever killed him. So, you know, my again, my top competitors can pick on him and catch up to me. So I'm, uh, I think, going to take him out as soon as I can. I guess I'm just going through the forest fights at first. So, Great Ogre of the North, he's always a pain. I'm thinking about it. Do I want to run, use a thieving skill? I'm using a thieving skill. I think I'm operating with, I'm not going to beat the dragon anyway yet, so might as well go nut with my skills and then once i save more money or, or and or get a fairy then the dragon battle is more possible but a thornberry bush happened not a fairy <laughs> i don't know what the probability of that is. i guess it's roughly 50 50. you can probably find out but yeah it seems like 50 50 you get a fairy or the thornberry bush. Corinthian giant. I don't run. Don't fight him, dude. Don't fight that guy. And the great ogre of the north. Okay, I, I pulled it off with a thieving skill. Yep. Yeah. You did black widow juice. That one can really get you before you're. You know, I, I'm at a low. I have low level equipment for level twelve, so you have to not mess around with certain enemies. Great ogre of the north, you don't mess around. Uh, mutated black widow, which she will kill you. You got to use skills or run. Um, and of course, Corinthian giant. All right, we're playing our mystical skills game. Fifty, seventy-five. What's next? Eighty-seven, and that was it. What we got here? This is your last lesson. 
The old man's face turned sober. You have finally shown enough control to master the most complicated thing, your body. Healing yourself with your mind is an awesome power. The old man vanished as quickly as he appeared. All right, so now we can heal. Mutated Black Widow, once again, don't mess around. I'm doing a pinch real hard. Black Unicorn. Mighty, Sh Mighty Shadow has gotten the best of me, the better of me a few times, or a lot of times, <laughs> when I have low low level equipment for level 12. Cal Torak does not. He's one of those meat walled Corinthian Giant. Don't mess with it at all. Don't even touch the Corinthian Giant. Another dead bird with a scroll. Castle Coldrake. Oh, no, no, no. It's the hull. A hull. No, a troll woman. Half human, half troll. I like to see that extra digit in the bank. 10 million. Hey, let's try to catch a fairy again. And we get a thorn bush again? No, a fairy. Woohoo. I still think there's no ch chance of beating the... Oh, look at this. No chance of beating the dragon, probably. But maybe. Hey, look, the, dra the day grows longer. Whoa, another one. <laughs> Holy crap. So we got a horse, a fairy, and then a crappy outcome. But but with the first two things, a fairy and a horse, those are the best outcomes you can get. So, wow, no complaints here. Ah, uh, is it possible I can beat the dragon? Nah. I just have such low equipment. I, can't, I don't think it's going to happen. But that's very fortunate. And actually, you know, you can um actually win by... Oh, I'm actually accidentally hitting random buttons. I talked about this in an earlier video, but there's the strategy of where you have the horse get killed... By the dragon and then you auto kill the dragon <laughs> so that's something that could i could luck into here but um we'll see if it happens okay i'm in high spirit so i can use the jenny code maybe i'll actually beat the dragon it's possible i mean yeah i, I still don't think it's gonna happen because my equipment's pretty weak but now i have these things going for me i can use the jenny code to get 20 percent bonus hit points. I can have a fairy, so it's an extra life. I can use um, light shield. Um, you know, it, it, it could happen. I have the horse, too, so there's always a chance that the horse will uh, make me auto-kill the dragon. The horse, the horse's death will make me auto-kill the dragon. Alright, will it happen? Am I going to slaughter somebody first? I should slaughter that level 11 guy, really. I don't want anybody else to kill him, but I think I didn't think of it here, perhaps. Oh, no, here we go. I thought of it. It looks like I am uh, a master of mystical and thieving now, but not like the second level of mastery of either, where, where it would show up as white. Can't kill Crystalis, man. Come on, you can do it. She can actually give me trouble because um, she has better equipment, but it looks like the level prevailed, so no biggie. In other words, I was stronger because of my level. And, you know, I wasn't able to use mystical skills or thieving skills because of the level discrepancy, but that's okay. Anyway, yeah, we're going for the dragon. Can this happen here? I honestly don't remember, but I'll, I'll give you one spoiler. I, it does, I don't kill him with the horse thing because I've never seen that happen. That's when you're riding the horse, the enemy kills the horse, and you get so mad you pummel it with blows to death. So that can actually happen. Some people try to arrange for that to happen by like just maximizing their defense so they can survive the strongest no you know the, the most the greatest number of attacks and i don't know it seems very difficult to pull off but anyway let's uh let's do it one thing i could do is this kind of violates my general idea of my general strategy of large leaps in my upgrades but i could just say well to increase my probability here since i have a lot of stuff going for me i could sell the blood armor and get the 10 which is 4 million and get the 10 million armor However, even all that said, I given that I only have two thieving skills available, it, that actually is not really working in my favor. But let's stop talking and see what happens. The suspense is killing me. All right, we're doing it. Hot. So extra hit points. Got it. 2,116. It's an extra 20%. Let's brave the dragon now. Here we go. Do we attack the dragon or run like a baby? You know, that's actually kind of a funny phrase because babies can't really run that fast if they can even run at all. <laughs> okay, here we go. 
the red dragon approaches. So first things first, I'm pretty sure we're going to light shield it. Yeah, light shield. So now all the damage will be halved. You hear the red dragon scream as the light expands to cover your whole body. The beam disappears, but you are still glowing. Okay, let's see what happens. First attack. I use a thieving skill and hit for 2781. And it does barely any damage with its huge claw. 161 damage. Next up. You hit the dragon with a thieving skill again. 3462. 3,462 3, damage. It has 8,750 left. And it only did 100 to me, so... So far, so good, but one fire breath is going to knock me out, and then I'll have to use a fairy. And I'm out of thieving, so I have to pinch real hard. That's all I can do. Pinch real hard. I do 1644. He's got 7113. And now I have no more. Oh, no, I have three more pinches I can do. He switched with his tail for 235. But it's looking pretty good so far, but I, I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen still. Pinch again. 1454, he's down to 5,659, and he did 310. I'm getting really lucky that he hasn't breathed fire yet. Um, so I could, if he still, you know, if he continues to not breathe fire, I think I can survive like three ish more hits, probably, maybe four. But it's going to happen, it's bound to happen. And he does breathe fire, but I get another 1704, and obviously the fairy resurrects me. So where are we at? We're at. We're at is he, he has 39.55. I have 1,680, and I have one pinch left. So it's possible I can do it as long as he doesn't breathe fire again, but let's see. Pinch real hard. He does, uses his huge claw. I'm at 10.95. He's at 28.58. Right, I'm out of magic. I, out of all of my skills. Let's see what happens. I do 7.22. He does 1.58. I do 6.20. He does 3.59. I do 794 and he does 484. So if you see, I'm not going to rewind, but I think it's down to the next hit. See, I'm doing in the ballpark of 620, 794, and whatever else I did somewhere in this ballpark. So I essentially I have a chance of killing him right now. But if this hit does not kill him, then that's it for me. So let's see what happens. Power move! Power move! 2,073 damage! Ah, I'm getting too excited. The earth shakes as the mighty beast falls. <laughs> so I was able to catapult from level 10 to 12 to killing the dragon. Uh, I didn't kill him the same day I catapulted to level 12, but the day after. You've defeated the dragon, etc. And this is the same ending as before. All right, let's read it anyway. Still shaking from the battle, you decide it is time to return to town and share the good tidings. You close your eyes and concentrate. There's no place like town. Oh, when you open your eyes, you are under a cow in a farm outside, not far from Abdul's armor. You trek the distance to the armory, cursing as you go. Wizards were not meant for this kind of hardship, you tell yourself. Miss Abdul is ecstatic when you tell her about your escapades. She agrees to accompany you to the inn. She lends you a horse when you tell her of how your feet ache. When you enter the smoky bar with a loud clatter, merrymakers stop their carousing. People hunched over their meals stop chewing, and Seth Abel stops playing mid-strum. And people stop peeing mid-stream. People, I have slain the beast, you shout triumphantly. And they're like, again? A voice is heard from the back. What beast? A large rat or something? You scowl at his barrack. You nonchalantly make a gesture with one hand. I wonder what gesture that was. A few moments later, Barak stands up surprised. He looks wildly around, then makes a bolt for the door. What happened to him? Miss Abdul asks you in puzzlement. Nature called. You smile. Your face becomes serious as you, do, as you address the bar. The red dragon is no more. Violet sets her serving tray down to hear better. We cannot bring back those dead, but I have stopped this from happening again. And we and he did it with armor from Abdul's armor, Miss Abdul adds. Er, thank you. Anyway, make sure you put something in the daily happenings about this. The crowd gives you a standing ovation. Now, what if, I'm just thinking, maybe it would be cool if they actually figured into the story of, you know, how the dragon will keep coming. <laughs> I don't know how they would do that, but 
you know, maybe there's a certain number of drag. <laughs> Thanks for being tough enough to win the game. And thank your sysop for registering. All right. So thank you, Booch and everybody else who registered the game. Your quest is not over. You are a hero. Bards will sing of your deeds. But that doesn't mean your life doesn't go on. Your character will now reset. But you will keep a few things you have earned, like the following. All special skills, charms, a few other things. You feel strange. Apparently you've been sleeping. You dust yourself off and regain your bearings. You feel like a new person. All right, here we are back at level one. It's always kind of a shock. And you want all the numbers scale down so greatly. But yeah, it's always good to have these 10 gems. You have to get to level two before you can use them, though. You get the 500 gold, obviously. And it's cool that we have a horse. But we don't get the a fresh bonus from the horses. You know, you get extra forest fights when you have a horse. It's not giving me that. So that's just an interesting thing to note. If you win the, you know, you beat the dragon while you have a horse, you don't get the bonuses from when you reset to level one. Depositing money. Let's look at the lower end of things, I guess. So I have a lot of, you know, cannon fodder here. Um, but yeah, I, get, I, I figure I'm going to probably play it here the way I usually do, essentially. Trying to stretch my low-level weapon and armor as much as I can. And now with a ton of skills, well, not this day, but tomorrow I'll have a ton of skills to work with. It'll make it a lot easier to get by with low-level weapon and armor. Oh, there goes my horse. A small bear killed it. And then I auto-killed the bear. Because I'm so mad. I just love once to have that happen with the dragon. Because that's great. I kind of retired from playing this game. But I might come out of retirement. <laughs> I retired after this very tournament. I kind of said, uh, you know, I won two tournaments. Why don't I try one more time? And regardless of the outcome, I'm going to record it. And just kind of bow out of Lord for a long time. Dead bird with a scroll encounter. Fortress Lytics. The door swings wide open. Hey, ladies, which one of you needs rescuing? They're like, eh, sorry, wrong place. Sorry, but the princess is in another castle. Olivia, the bodiless woman. Um, Okay, I was in low spirits. Now I'm in high spirits. The old man is great at the low level because you get 500 gold. At level one, it's got it twice. Wow, so that's a lot of money at level one. Uh, Brand the warrior could kill me here. It did not. If I had like a single pinch, I probably would have used it on him. No pinches. Another random 407 gold. That's a great start because money is so big. And that's a lot of money at this low level. Ask for a blessing. Got crap, basically some gems. And you know, those gems are actually good at a low level as well. A large green rat. All right, 2,800 gold. And the day isn't even over yet. Six forest fights left to go. So this is going pretty well. It looks like I'm, yeah, I'm going to go for that armor. Or I'm not. Okay. <clears throat> as much as I, you know, tout the benefits of being stingy it is true that getting that first armor upgrade is very helpful because you can lose against the master easily if you don't upgrade i usually get the leather vest yeah then i stick with the leather vest and stick for way longer than most people probably would but this gives me a chance to get to level two all right now i can pick on somebody um Maybe. I'm going for dude simply because he's... Uh, I could have gone... Well, I'm going to say simply because he's the highest level level one. I mean, the, the most... You know, level one guy with the most experience. But I think Zax fits that bill, actually. However, I might have been looking down... Oops. I might, just, I might have just been not looking. Because, you know, it looks like... Well, here's the two. Then you look down, you see the one. So I might have just not seen this one. Oh, there I saw it now. Zex. Okay. <laughs> I'm going for Zex after I finish the forest fights. 
Okay. Since I'm level two, I can trade in all the yeah, I'll trade in all the gems. I decided to trade only five of the seven. Oh, okay, I must have hit the wrong key. <laughs> I was like, what was my, what am I thinking there? Is it, there's like no reason to save them. Yeah. Okay, let's check out these standings. Let's see. I'm gonna brag about how I'm number one. But who else? How is everybody else doing? Jimmy V and Tentacle are tied for second place. They have their level 10 with their one hero deed. Followed by Maverick in third. He's level nine. In fourth place, oddly okay, level eight. And then what was that? Fourth place? I guess that would mean tied for fifth are Mabel and Blanchopanopolis, who are level seven each. And then at sixth place would be Shep, on level four. And that's about it. Another old man, nice. The low level old mans are awesome. Three in one day is really good, actually, <laughs> for the old men. So I'm going to use which code here? Uh, I already used hot, so I don't think I can do it. Oh, I can. Okay, so I guess it resets the. Uh, Jenny, I'm trying to think if it's that or the fact that I found the um found Olivia that let me do the Jenny. I guess because I found Olivia again. Uh, not again, but I found her and it let me use the Jenny code again today. I'm not really sure, but I think that's what happened. Zex, we're gonna pick on Zex who has a dagger. No sweat, seventy-two free experience. I'm highlighting that I have 30 hit points and two oh two player kills left I have player battles left that's cool so I guess I'm just gonna pick on level ones so I'm cheesy <laughs> dude was an easy kill and one more we can do uh I guess quanti no I'm going for night stalker okay I'm going for the top level two guy I'm I'm, I'm being confident that I can beat him but I can't spell He's got a dagger. Okay, no problem there. I guess, you know, all those gems you cash in will give you an edge above someone similar in level. And the leather vest is probably uh, probably about the same or slightly better. Uh, Demi B is here. That's actually scary because he can just pick on me now, I think. I don't remember the rules of online fights, actually. But I'm wrapping up the day anyway. Like, I don't remember if online fights work like field fights where you can just attack anybody. Or um, like the inn. I think they might be like the field. So it can be very dangerous. He might have been able to attack me had I not um, left the game so quickly. <laughs> Day 58. Low spirits today. Let's see. Crystalis has killed magic and tentacle. Maverick has been killed by Ernest Brown. Who gets killed by... <laughs> no offense. <laughs> I don't think Ernest Brown usually kills people. Though. Oddly okay has killed Mabel and had beaten Aladdin. So that if he'd beaten Aladdin, that means he is level um, 9, I guess. And oh, unfortunately, the fiend of level 9, the Earthshaker, has killed Oddly okay. And Tentacle gives birth to another boy. His name is... Tabasco Nuts Junior dot com. <laughs> Pretty hilarious names there. Wow, that's great. All right, Crystalis has killed Demi V in self defense. That's good for me. <laughs> because again, he was our kind of source of free experience. It's not free, obviously, if you can lose, but um a good source of those for those level ten people to advance. And can the go Tentacle has killed Wolf One. Tentacle has killed Cool Calm. He's picking on lower level guys, I think. Blanche Oppenopolis has killed Uncle Bob and beaten Atsuko Sensei. All right, checking out the uh, the player rankings here, the fields actually. Need 135 experience to advance. So I want to try to kill someone. I get this sin person. Level one, so easy pickings. And only have a good amount of experience for level one, too. So that might be who I go for. 
Yep. Got a gem out of it, too. And now I'm closer to being able to advance to level three. A bent river dryad. Why are they bent? Is that like related to the phrase get bent? Someone told the river dryad to get bent. And she was like, okay. Or he was like, <laughs> let's not go there. Rude boy. A lot of bent river dryads in these parts. <laughs> 32 more needed. The old man gave us four, so 28 more needed. Huge bald man gave 16, so we're getting there. And a fairy encounter, nice. Let's get a horse, hopefully. Kish from Tisha, that just heals you. So anything that heals you in this game is the most worthless thing. Because it's kind of just, you always heal after everything you do. Uh, if I were to mod this game, that might be one thing I would change. Things that heal you, maybe maybe make something else happen. Anyway, we gained a level. We're level three. Uh, a lot of gold, that's good. So I'm trying to think of what would be the next target to work on here. Um, I think all the level four people I saw a moment ago were dead. Muscled midget. Headbanger of the West. Lazy bum. Lazy bum. I'll lend him my loincloth. Let's check out the old man's rankings. Lays and kills. I have the most lays, although I only get laid from the um, the princesses in the tower. I would not try and get laid by other people. I find it weird. <laughs> uh, and I don't bother with Violet much, at least in this server, because I haven't been getting enough charm to make it worthwhile. Player killed. Who's leading in that? It looks like leading with 57 is... Who's this? Maverick. And then I'm tied for second with syntax error for, with uh, 55 player kills. Uh, I'm not going to go through it all, but then I'll be okay as 49. But old man ranks by lays first. And I always found this really weird. This old man in this, you know, um, tavern that's hidden in the woods somewhere. He keeps track of how many times all of these adventurers are getting laid. He, he like carves them in a in, on the wall. He's, that means he's watching, or you hear through the grapevine when somebody gets laid. I, don't know, I like to think he's watching, because it's just creepy that way. <laughs> it's such a weird game. And I know that a game like this couldn't be made today, with all its weirdness like that, but I like it. It's, it's silly and ridiculous. Okay. But let's see, we're level three there. Okay. Yeah, I already knew that. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm yawning. 90 experience. Magic has happened. Hold on, we got to celebrate. So it's not like we had a huge stash, so it's not the best instance of that happening. But nonetheless, woohoo! Magic has happened! Woohoo! Okay, enough celebration. So now we have 28,000. Returning to the mundane world. Day 59. High spirits today. Crystalis has beaten Turk. Yeah, Crystalis finally got out of the, ele the level 11 void. Um, Probably boosted by that guy who tried to kill him, but, but got killed himself. That was, I think, Dimmy B. But he probably would need probably would have need more than just that though. Anyway, that's fine. But then Crystalis proceeded to get killed by the dangerous mutated Black Widow. Syntax Error has killed Mabel and beaten Sparhawk. Flanch Flanch Hoppinopolis has killed Syntax Error in self defense. Maverick has killed Tentacle. And uh Maverick has killed Vlanch. And Demi B has killed Maverick. Tentacle has killed Demi B. Wow.
getting really bloody out there in the world of Lord on the Therion BBS. All right, I guess I'm going to pick on Night Stalker probably there. Just trying to get my own, you know, trying to maximize free experience. Free meaning like zero risk in this case. <laughs> yeah, not zero, but you know, close to zero. Rude boy. Redneck. Flirting with Violet. That's a nice boost of experience when you're at a low level. See, that took me from needing 123 to level up to 33, so I'm very close. I only need five now. After that last fight, the Winged Demon of Death should push us over the edge, and now we can attack Aragorn. He's apparently not very advanced a fighter, unlike in Lord of the Rings. Young wizard hits you with his weak magic. A short goblin. Short even for a goblin or just short objectively? Mudman can be dangerous. I use a thieving skill. Young wizard. Evil wood nymph. I'm just doing pinches. I think with the hope of um, doing enough excess damage to get gems, if that's even how it works. I think it's how it works. It's funny how I don't even know. It seems like, well, just to, to explain what I'm thinking, you, you tend to get gems from killing enemies. It's either you kill them, you overkill them by a lot, you do like a lot more damage than what they have, hit points wise, or it's related to using skills. And I, I was never sure which, but I think it's just you... you you overkill them quite a lot. So that's why when I have an excess of skills and I have no plans to use them against another player, I will just kind of burn through them. Burn through the skills. Also, you're taking less damage if you can ensure that you kill the enemy in fewer hits. And less damage means less money spent healing. Which, you know, again, it's always a minimal amount, but every bit helps. Same in... I'm going to kill you, Samian. It's time to get a room. All right. So I've been kind of marathoning through these day, recording the voiceovers for each day here, and I'm going to take a break. doesn't really matter to you, the viewer, but I'm going to see you in a bit. Day 60. High spirits today. We'll stick in leather vest and level 4 with 54,000 in the bank. A child was found today, but scared deaf enough. I don't know why I read that one. <laughs> Dragon has killed Christellus. Flanchopinopolis has killed Mabel and was kicked in the groin by Violet. Oddly okay has killed Flanchopinopolis in self defense. Syntax Tower has been killed by Emperor Len and Uncle Bob has killed Shep in self-defense. Anything else interesting happening? Maverick has killed Tentacle, but he was killed by the always deadly Earth Shaker. Oddly okay has killed Lord Snutch and has beaten Prince Caspian. All right, let's keep going forward. Prince Caspian, by the way, is the um, level, I believe, 9 boss. He, no, he's level 10 boss. Master, I should say. Trading in some gems for Elixir's Death Dog. It's funny how... Um, I don't know why I'm waiting here, but... Uh, some of these lower-level monster names, I, I just don't even remember, because so many of these low-level guys you don't even think about. And you're, you don't stay on these low levels for too long usually so i, I kind of like just totally blanked when i saw death dog i was like is that even a thing i don't remember that well you know you remember these level you know eight monsters and nine and twelve on level 12 i think it, literally every monster has the word black in its name maybe not all of them but most of them 
So here are those rankings. I kind of oh, let's go back a little bit. Needed two thousand about to to level up. Uh, here's the player rankings in the field. Look, okay, I had a little, I was missing a little context for a moment. So it looks it looks like I could try to kill Ronnie Forge. However, it's risky considering my weak equipment. So uh, we'll see what happens. Young wizard. I always thought I probably mentioned this before. I always thought it'd be cool if somebody somebody running a Lord game just really changed all the names for the monsters. And you don't know what you're expecting. You might be able to change all the stats for them too. I mean, you could really. I don't remember per exactly if that's a thing, but um, you could like totally skew the way the game works. You could make uh, you could you could eliminate the. Those really um, weak monsters that are on the late, later levels, making them all hard. I don't know if that's mean to somebody who stumbles into a level unwittingly. Anyway, let's see what happens. Is uh, your bed? All right, we're going to come into a pile of gems. Something else for you, too. 12 gems. I don't remember the math offhand. I think it's, I guess it's three times your level for the number of gems you get. That would be consistent with being level four and getting 12 gems at least. Oh, it's a fairy event. Oh, it's exciting. Is it a thorn bush or a fairy? A fairy! So that allows me to be risky. And um, hey, look at this, another one. <laughs> Last time we found, I think, three in a row. Was it, maybe it was even four. I think it was three. But even two in a row is pretty rare. But, um, yeah, you know, having a fairy obviously allows you to take greater risks. So maybe I will try to kill that level five guy in the fields and you know i have all these uh skills so i could put on a light shield i could use thieving skills so there's a good chance i might go for him well let's see what past mark decides to do 1099 experience to level up it might be i decide to upgrade my stick to a huge axe here because i got <laughs> yeah i know myself uh you know with the stick and trying to punch up and you know i'm at level four so and i also had plenty of money you know you always got to make the call even if you're playing the the strategy of hoarding your money you have to make the call of when is the right moment to uh upgrade but anyway ronnie forge yeah, he had the huge axe too but we're gonna do a light shield and then thieving skill did not kill him in one hit with the thieving skill but but rather two so yeah it's possible that was the right move to use a huge axe i think with the stick i would have had to hit him definitely more than twice and by the way, let's take a quick look at um, the Nuclear Lord wiki page. And uh, you can see here that the stick only adds 5 to your strength, and the huge axe adds 40. So if I understand how Lord Combat works, that means each of my hits would have done 35 less damage. So let's just rewind for the sake of it. Let's explore that. A little bit so oh yeah and also the thieving skills uh sorry what's the multiplier for thieving i think it's double i'm gonna take a look and and while i'm gonna take a look at that real quick just to make sure i have it right okay so it's actually each thieving skill is triple the damage so yeah let's let's spend a little time getting into the math why not all right so first i did the light shield right and now look at this. I did 59 damage. So 59 is a triple of something else, right? Um, so that would be, I believe, well, if it was 20, 20 tripled would be um 60, right? So it's three less than that. Is that right? Would it be 19? Uh, I don't think so let me I'm not, sorry i'm breaking out the calculator now do 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 um because i can't math good okay so it's a fraction that's kind of why i was finding that weird okay um so how does the damage work then it's not attack minus defense and then triple unless it deals in fractions maybe it does but anyway okay i'm gonna look that up too as long as we're getting crazy so i'm probably gonna edit this video 
so that there's not long waits. But I'm going to look up how the, the formula for damage is, how it works in Lord. Okay, folks, so here is the great formula. Get this head out of here, please. Oh, God, it's still coming. Okay, um, so it's your attack strength divided by two plus a random number between zero and your attack strength divided by two minus one. So it's actually half your damage. And then so you add to that, well, you do somewhere, somewhere between half your attack strength and your maximum attack strength. There's like a random amount of damage between half and your full attack strength. So that's, that's where it's interesting. That's where the randomness comes in. And then you subtract the opponent's defense. Uh, skills multiply damage before defense is subtracted. Okay, so if you see that I did 59, then uh, that was the result of this formula, right? And multiply damage before defense is subtracted. So yeah, that means I pr probably would have not done any damage, I think. Uh, well, you know what? What the heck? Let's pull out some scratch notes. <laughs> so, what happened was, should we really get full full algebraic here? Go away, Adam. Um, so our attack strength was, if we assume it was like this, random between zero and x to y by two minus one minus defense. So if this and we had a multiplier applied, right? Four defenses subtracted. So we had times three of this whole thing. Or we should put three in the front, probably. Just as a convention. So what this means is I did a 59 after all that. But if we change x to x minus 35, right? If we had, three, if we had 35 less attack strength because we were using the stick then it would have looked something like this, where X is the um, current strength that I have, right, with the better weapon, with the huge X. But it would have been this, had I not had that. And what did it equal? Well, <laughs> hard to say exactly, right? But uh, it's a random element. But it would have been half yeah, the difference would have been half of this, which we'll say is 17.5 less to begin with. And then the random part would have been um, essentially half. So we probably would have done, well, I guess it comes down to, yeah, so if we assume the midpoint, like divide by two, then we would have 8.25. This is how much less we would have, how much damage less we would have done before subtracting defense. So we would multiply before, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So maybe, you know, this would apply to the multiplier too. So we would do this, I guess this much less damage probably, typically. And what, let's just round this. It's something like, um, get around, what's it, 20? Can't do math live, 26 or so. So I think basically would have done this much less damage, which now, you know, anyone who's good at math could check me on this. This is just a rough estimate given what we know. And obviously this random thing could be anything, but assuming like the midpoint for the random range, it would be something like this, less damage than I would have done, I believe. 60 plus 18 is So I think I would have done essentially zero damage and I would have to keep attacking and hoping I get lucky until um i get a good hit in but you know he was hitting me hard so i would probably would not have survived it's a long story short so let's move this out of the way and yeah you can see he's hitting me 10 damage here did he hit me again no but you have to assume that basically i would have been hitting repeatedly just praying that i get a power move or get just otherwise a lucky hit in and um well, i guess you can't get power moves in, in conjunction with a thieving skill can you I don't know, long story short, <laughs> you know, it's a little complicated, but I don't think I would have survived if I had not upgraded to the huge axe. In any case, am I going for the level up here? I guess I'm pondering things. 
who can kill me? This is what I'm thinking about, probably. I'm th probably thinking, if I level up, uh, who can easily kill a level 5 guy? Well, I guess the level 4 people could make it an arrow by accident. Um, maybe one of these guys could. You always have to consider, are some of these players even active? I think Ken Krenjaris is. We saw him play. So, and there's a whole bunch of other four, level 4 people. I think most of these are inactive, but probably Kren Krenjaris would be Dangerous, maybe, but I'm going for it. And I beat Olodrin. Next lesson. Ready for, oh, that's just a generic. No, I was supposed to say that? Basically, I did not learn any new mystical skill. <laughs> Fairy in your pocket. Okay, I am getting a room. Day 61. All right. Some stuff happened. Once again, I uh, let it go by too fast, but um, eh, let's rewind. That's what I want to do. <laughs> you get to see the title screen twice. Low spirits today. Got our huge axe leather vest, 50,000 in the bank. All right. Laid by Seth Abel. Good job there. Maverick beating up on Tentacle again. I think he's going to be uh, ahead of Tentacle soon. And actually, Maverick has beaten Prince Caspian and Gandalf. That takes him to um, level 11, I believe. And then he killed some more people. Oddly okay and magic. Wow. Does he jump to level 12 right now? Nope. He gets killed by Shogun Warrior. They can be dangerous. They're not super dangerous but they do have a lot of hit points at Chogun warrior i believe they have something like 3800 and you know they do solid amount of damage as well just not like a huge amount so i'm not usually concerned about them but they can get you obviously uh tentacle killed krentaris tentacle killed wolf one demi b has killed tentacle oh poor tentacles getting killed all over the place demi b laid by violet syntax error he's he Kind of took a long time to beat the dragon the first time, but he's trying to catch up. And Flanchopinopolis has killed Uncle Bob. Anything else? Uh, more stuff, actually. Wow. Then Flanchopinopolis has beaten Aladdin and kicked in the groin by Violet. Wow. <laughs> okay. I keep wondering why there's so much getting kicked in the groin that shouldn't really happen. Anyway, Jimmy B has been... has killed Magic in self-defense, so that gives my... Probably top competitor at the moment, unless Maverick has caught up. Gives him an edge in some extra experience. Uncle Bob has beaten Atsuko Sensei, and Aldi OK has killed Dammy B. Atsuko Sensei by the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. He's a level 7 boss. I would have to look it up in my reference here because I can't remember their names. Player rankings. Going to kill Cool Calm in the field. Okay, so he's. I'm just figuring he's a, a freebie to. Uh, Beat to beat up essentially. I'm trying to remember if why I'm doing it early in the day, but I can't quite remember. Generally, though, I would do that if I thought there was a a solid risk of death in the forest fights, or I just wanted to get the experience quickly because I'm expecting to um, level up or I want to level up. Um, I don't know what I was thinking, but. So now I'm, I don't know, now I'm pausing to remind myself, is it worth hearing the old man on level 5? And I decided, yes, 2,500 gold is worth it. You can see, I don't know, it might be borderline. Uh, I have to look up what the actual true average is at level 5. But you can see when I beat a monster, uh, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less than 2,500 at this level. It looks like it's typically more. I'm seeing more. So I don't know if that was a bad move, or it could be I was trying to go for the charm, because maybe you know, that it's good to get charm, too, because you can flirt heavy, more heavily against Violet, or with Violet <laughs> against her, and um, you know, therefore get more experience from the flirtation. So it is worth that sometimes if the as long as it's not a huge penalty to the money that you gain, it can be worth losing out a little bit. But as you can see, you know, sometimes these battles on level 5, you get barely anything or even a little bit less than 2,500. That one gave me 4,700, though. 
It looks like I'm going with what this time? Yes, again. Got a charm and 2,500 from the old man once again. 3,100 gold from that battle. <clears throat> Silent but deadly. Yeah, Silent Death is pretty dangerous on this level. Uh, so I'm using skills there just to eliminate any possibility of my dying. And also, also hopefully to get um, a gem, probably. Three more forest fights from Seth Abel the Bard. A bald Medusa. Trojan warrior. Why is he wandering in a forest? Are we in Troy? I don't know. One hundred and nine thousand gold. And by the way, this cursor here I left on while recording. I, I do this sometimes, unfortunately. <laughs> Nothing really I could do about that, unless I wanted to get really crazy with the editing. But now nah, we'll have to we'll have to deal with that. <laughs> yeah, I should go for Crystallis there, level twelve versus my level five. Surely I'll beat him. No Jenny code. It looks like I was trying because I forgot if I was in low spirits for the day. But uh, it looks like I'm pondering. It doesn't look, doesn't look like there's any good targets here, unfortunately, except maybe, um, well, I'm not looking at the fields right now. I'm just looking at the whole overall rankings. But obviously, I'm not going to be able to handle a level 8 guy. Probably what I'm going to do is kill some wimpy guy in the field just for a few bonus experiences. Some people think this doing this is mean, by the way, that you shouldn't do it. But this guy is actually a, a, um, a player, like, not just somebody who signed up and quit. He's an active player is what I'm trying to say. And so it actually is potentially helpful to my victory to, to knock him down a peg. Oh, I'm too tired. I already did it. Yeah, I, for, I had forgotten that I did a fight first thing. So I'm not sure. Why was it? Okay, I don't know what, what I was doing there. <laughs> okay, that's the day. A62. I'm going to try to pause it on the early, you know, like the daily happening and stuff like that, so I don't have to rewind quite as often. High spirits today. We got 118k in the back, in the bank. Level 5, huge axe and leather vest. All right, what do we got here? It's in tax era killed Mabel and Uncle Bob, and has beaten Atsuko Sensei. Because once again, I have to count because four, five, that's a level seven boss. So he's up to level eight on his second lap around the uh, the rankings. Crystallis got laid. Red Dragon killed him or her. Blanche Apinopoulos killed Syntax there. Dimmy B has been killed by Slock. Oh, that's one of the, um, what level is that? That's, I think that's the dangerous level. Level, uh, now I'm forgetting which one is the dangerous one again. 11, maybe. <laughs> Oh, I'll well, just keep going. I don't want to look it up. Uh, Maverick has killed Tentacle and has been killed by Shadow Storm Warrior, who is, yeah, that's a dangerous one on level, I believe, 11. Shadow Storm Warrior is very dangerous. Aldeo K has killed Flanch Avanopoulos, and Aldeo K has beaten Gandalf, taking him to level 11 as well. That would be a nice little addition to the message on the daily happenings, it would say has be, you know, he, he has beaten Gandalf, taking him to level 12, something like that. Anyway, um, okay, here's the fields. I could beat up this guy again, Dionysus, but it looks like I'm going to put that off to later. I need 2,300, 10,000 experience to level up. So let's grind through the forest. Here's a question for the, the viewer. Do you think the Lord forest fights should be more, have more decisions. You know, I think it's good personally, but I've heard the criticism that you're basically just pounding a, and then once in a while you use a skill. I think it's good because it requires you to pay attention to when you must, you know, a is the default it's attack, but you have to know when you need to use the skills and when to run. And to me, as long as you don't have a huge number of forest fights, set up you know in your config or the, or the sysops config it, it's fine it, it would get tedious if you have like 50 or more fights or something like that but you know i think with 20 it's reasonable it doesn't get tedious going through the fights and they matter more so i like it okay i'm gonna kill dionysus that was quick uh i got did i just get seven gems i think i did 
That's always very helpful. And again, I'm not 100% sure that this means he had seven gems on him, but there's no reason to hoard gems, really. Um, you should just use them. If that means he had seven and wasn't, you know, hadn't spent them, I just gave them to me. Now, the only reason to hoard gems at all is when you're a thief, because you spend gems to upgrade your thieving skill. My rule of thumb is just to try to have one on hand, as you saw earlier in this series of videos. If you wanted to be really careful, you know, just so you're not caught without gems when you run into the thieving guys, you could go with having two, maybe three absolute tops, but seven is ridiculous. No need for seven. And again, I'm not 100% sure how it worked. Did I actually make him lose his seven so his character simply doesn't have them anymore because I claimed them? I'm not sure if it works like that. I think it probably does. Dark Cloak Tavern. The old man rankings for what it's worth. Considering I'm not really trying to get laid by Violet, that's pretty funny. This is pretty much well, literally all just from the uh uh you know the scenario where uh, you know the dead bird and you try to rescue the princess. I'm kind of surprised that I lead in that. That makes me actually wonder if people don't know how it works, how that scenario works. Or if maybe they um, are just unlucky, or I'm lucky, I don't know. Or they just happen to die more in forest fights, so they have fewer opportunities to do this exact forest event, as they call it. All right, let's rescue the princess. Starting with Castle Coldrake. Oh no, the hole again. Oh man, it's so ridiculous. The black alligator executes a power move. <laughs> Try to imagine what a power move is to an alligator. Maybe it just kind of leaps for your throat and chomps on you. Fortunately, I'm, I have a lot of hit points, so I can survive that. Gems. I've got two gems. Trade them in. Okay, we're going for the level upgrade to level um, six. Ta-da! Empty armor. Two extra forest fights. Two evil wood nymphs. Those are both throwaways. Jenny is a babe. <laughs> Do you think the actress Jenny Garth knows that she was in this weird game? <laughs> Like you entered a code because uh, the the designer of the game back in like I don't know if it was eighty nine or whatever. I guess it was a couple years after that for when nine hundred two one zero came out. But he really liked that. So there was a secret code to call her hotter or a babe or whatever. <laughs> I love the, the random idiosyncrasies. That was awesome. Day sixty three. The quirkiness, I guess. My spirits. Oh, Shep. Shep is attacking me. Does he kill me? He's killed me. I've been killed by Shep. What else happens? Crystalis gives birth to a boy. His name is Rox. Crystalis has been killed by the mutated Black Widow. That thing hits hard sometimes. That's one of the very dangerous enemies on level 12. Maverick killing people, and he is at level 12, so he is poised to get his second dragon kill, and I'm hoping I can leave him in the dust because I'm like halfway through, at least level wise, it might take longer than that, but halfway through my second lap. Um, but he's killed Ali okay for more experience, and fortunately for me, the dragon has eaten him today at least. What else we got here? Also, Tentacle doing some stuff, moving and shaking, killed Dimmy B, and he is also, or she, the she, I gotta remember that, reached level 12, and it's also the closest to on my tail, I believe. But the dragon ate her as well. Syntax error, killing some people. Oddly okay, has been killed by mountain. You have to wonder what it means by mountain. Is it just some beast that's huge? 
Or is it like a rock creature, like an earth elemental? Or is it literally that mountain over there in the background has marched up to me to try to kill me? All right, so heroic deeds one. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is the rankings. Um, I am number one, or at least for now. And who do we got? Let's, let's actually draw numbers. That could be fun. One. And yeah, Tentacle and Maverick are tied for two. Now, I played against some of these people a few times on the server, and Maverick was always the one who gave me the most trouble. So even though he was lagging behind for a bit now, you can see he's catching up. He's good at this game. Ali O.K. is in third, and Jimmy B., who has given me the most trouble this game so far, is in fourth now. Um, blah, 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 blah. Vlan Shop Monop Monopolis is number five because he's level nine. What else we got? Uh, level 8 is over here. Syntax error is in 6th place. And I think that would make Mabel 7th. Uh, sorry, I'm having brain problems processing who's next. Shep is 8 because he's level 6. And then lastly, Dionysus would be number 9. And everybody else has not killed the dragon yet. Probably nobody who hasn't killed the dragon has a prayer at this point. You could probably argue that some of these people don't have a prayer too, but hey, you know, sometimes Lord can be, you know, tricky. You get in one good player kill and suddenly you're flying through the ranks. But I would say probably, you know, I know how this tournament ends, but probably nobody, probably Mabel and Below don't really have a prayer in my opinion. But, you know, again, anything could happen. 29,000 more needed to level up. So now it's like, where do I get this experience? Um, yeah, so I'm here at level six. Uh, I could try to kill Shep, who's equal to my level. That can be dangerous, of course, especially when you're like me and you're stingy with your upgrades. Nobody else looks like a good target, though. And let's do the forest fights for the day. Wild Stallion. Satan's little helper. <laughs> All right, forest event again. Another dead bird, another day, another dead bird. Did we find the princess? Oh no, it's a hall again. Ah, she's always in a chest. <laughs> and I never learn. This time it's going to be a beautiful princess in the chest and she'll give me gems and give me a good time. But no, it's a haul every time. <laughs> and she does things to me that are unmentionable. Belar, he is the tough guy of level... What the heck am I on? Six? Yeah. Belar gives me trouble if I am a little bit under-equipped, as I usually am. But, you know, when you have... All the luxury of spending all these skills here and there, you know, it really compensates for for the stinginess. Ooh, so Bellar executed a power move. That was a little risky. Let's go back and review that. Instant replay. Yeah, so I'm pondering what to do. I think I used a thieving skill. Uh, no, I did a regular attack. I was feeling gutsy. But you can see he did 42 damage. And, you know, that's a good fraction of my total hit points so i have to assume he can do that again and so i did 210 because i i got oh i used the thieving skill ultra sneaky move and did 210 which uh puts him in the range of finishing him off but he did a power move and inflicted 53 meaning i should not risk one more hit i cannot risk another hit so what am i going to do here am i going to use a thieving skill pro uh, not thieving but pinch real hard most likely that would pretty much guarantee mm. I wouldn't say guarantee, but it seems like it would be extremely likely that I'd finish him off. And I did 141 with the pinch real hard. One of my coworkers, so I'm a software engineer. I don't want to get on a huge tangent, but he, he's a younger guy, he's junior. And he mentioned, he notices I never want to say anything with 100% certainty. That's because I've been doing this programming thing for a long time. And I know you can really get bitten by being overconfident. Anyway, it looks like I totally housed Baylor that time. Uh, let's see what happened here. Did he just kill? He's a pinch real hard. Then probably another one. Yeah, and then that didn't finish him though. So I have to hit him one more time, probably with a regular attack. Yep. Frederick the Limping Baboon. Where does he come up with this stuff? I gotta 
give Seth Abel a lot of credit. It's hard to come up with funny or interesting names for all these monsters. Each one has a you know a little bit of flavor to it. It's not just a zombie. This is a screaming zombie. So you can imagine this thing charging up to you, shrieking or something like that. And you know, there's humor too. Some of them make no sense. I like I like some of the humor, like bald Medusa. You imagine this Medusa without its trademarked snake hair, gaping mouth full of teeth. So it's trying to bite me. Huge stone warrior. And again, they could have just called that a stone golem or something, but a lot of interesting names for the monsters. I kind of like that. Even though most of them aren't anything special, you kind of you know, forget them. Ability-wise, most of them are just kind of throwaway grunts. But, I don't know, it's a, a lot of nice flavor. I dig it. So we need 22,000 still. What am I going to do here? If I do manage to kill Shep, that would be a good amount of the 22,000 I need. I think he had like 36,000. So I would get half of that, which would be 18,000. But I'm going for finishing off. Okay, I don't think I'm going for that. Well, I might be. I'm just, I'm burning off my my skills because I might as well use them. If I am going for Shep, I can't use skills on him, so you might as well do it. Just burn through them. Well, let's see. What am I going to do? I could just pick on Trouble. I think knowing myself, I'm probably going to do that because if I was going to go for Shep, I would want to spend money, and I'm too cheap for that. <laughs> you know, spend money on an upgrade for sure. But see, so yeah, I'm going to pick on Troubled and get like 500 experience out of it. Therefore, I can save my money until I do a bigger upgrade. 333,000 is not bad, considering I have a 30k weapon and a, what is it, 3k, I think? Armor. So, so really, it's like uh, the total value of these is like 10% of the gold that I'm hoarding in the bank currently. Just to give you a relative comparison. All right, let's go to bed. Mundane world. Okay, thus ends day 63, and thus also ends part six in this series. So let's do a brief recap. We started at day 52, in which my character Neon Peon was at level nine with one dragon kill under his belt. Whenever you get to these higher levels, it's critical to find those key opportunities to kill players and earn piles of experience in order to leap ahead to level 12. Here are some of those major kills. Apologies to Crystallis, as I took advantage of him at least twice. But hey, you know, you got to get to level 12, right? Here we are beating the final master, Turgon, to advance to level 12. I believe this was day 56. Any dragon kill is going to be a video highlight, but here we had an insane kill. So this is our biggest highlight for part six in this series. Um, I got lucky and managed to beat the dragon with only two thieving skills and four pinches after having casted light shield. Uh, I don't think I've ever won a dragon battle and when I had to resort to five regular attacks, but that's what happened right here. The dragon only used fiery breath on round five and that triggered my fairy usage but wow sticking it out for 11 rounds of combat you don't see often fast forwarding to the end of day 63 i managed to ascend to level six in the third and final lap of the Lord race. Nobody else has killed the dragon a second time yet, so can Neon Peon maintain this lead, or might someone else overtake him? Stay tuned for the answer to that and many other questions, such as what will Tentacle name her next baby in part seven. Thanks for watching, take care, and keep playing Lord and other BBS games. Bye.